How's it going, friends? Outlaw Music. I want to welcome y'all to the next episode of what I like to call Outlaw Stories, where I like to pick one of our honky tonk heroes, tell a quick story about them. But before I do, if you like these stories, hit that like and follow so you'll be the first one to get notified when I have new stories and new content. Today's story is going to be about the origins of Leonard Skinner. Bob Burns and Gary Roston were best friends, and they both played baseball together when they were younger. One day, they decided to go see the older kids play. Ronnie Van Zant was on one of those teams that they went to see play. They didn't know Ronnie personally, but they knew of him. They knew he would whoop your ass if you said anything out of the way to him. He kind of had that reputation. So Bob Burns was down the third baseline talking to the third base coach. He knew him personally. Next thing you know, Ronnie Van Zant hit a line drive down the third baseline, hit Bob Burns in the head and knocked him out. Ronnie came up running hysterical. He thought he had killed him. But before long, Bob came to and uh, Ronnie noticed who he was. He said, hey man, don't you play drums? Still with tears in his eyes, Bob said, yeah, I play drums. He looked over at Gary, he said, hey man, ain't you got a guitar? He said, yeah, I got a guitar. So Ronnie said, well, we ought to get together and play tomorrow. So they agreed. They were going to get together and play a little music the next day. So Ronnie was a little older than them. He was the only one with license, and he was driving. The other two were in the car. They saw a little skinny kid on a bicycle riding, and Bob Burns said out of nowhere, hey, that's Alan. He's got a guitar, too. The other two guys said, who the fuck is Alan? Oh, he's a friend of mine. So they all pulled up, jumped out of the car, Alan saw Ronnie. He thought Ronnie was there to whoop his ass, so he took off. They jumped back in the car, and they chased him down on the car. Bob Burns yelling out the window, hey, man, we just want to talk. So Alan, he eventually stopped. They walked up to Alan and said, hey, man, we want you to play some guitar with us. We're going to be playing a little bit today. And uh, Alan agreed. Alan was the only one in town that could play certain songs, and he's definitely the only one of them that even knew how to play bar chords, so they really wanted him. The only problem, Alan said, these other guys got my amp, my guitar I'm playing with. It's a band called The Mods, and they're kind of holding it hostage. They won't let me play with nobody else. Ronnie said, oh, yeah? He said, everybody get the fuck in the car. They got in the car. They rode over there to that house to tell it. Ronnie did donuts in the yard, tore the yard all up, went to the house, told the guys, hey, Alan's playing with us now. We're here to get his shit, so you gonna give it to us? I'm gonna whoop everybody's ass in here. Not only did they give Ronnie Alan's equipment, they also wished him the best of luck. He said, let us know when your first gig is, because we're gonna be there to see it. They didn't want no trouble with Ronnie. So that's pretty much how it all started. If you guys want to hear some more of these Leonard Skinner stories, let me know. As always, keep it out, Law.